just make stuff without looking or thinking about numbers, right? You, you're not just going to start. I mean, I'm not, it's different now than when I started because of TikTok and reels and, you know, things can go instantly viral and there, there is a potential for that. There's a lot of potential for that, but for your own, just like motivation and mental wellness and stuff, you can't go into this, you know, posting something and, you know, if it only got 200 views, you know, you give up and you're like, oh, nobody gives a crap. And then, you know, you become unmotivated and you stop making content. Like this has been a rubber to the road grind. I'm going to say the online thing for probably about six years now. And now I'm just starting to see the fruits of my labor. You know, this wasn't an overnight, you know, sensation kind of a thing. There were a lot of things that failed and didn't do well. There are a lot of things that I put a lot of effort into. And it's like, wow, like, 20 people watch this or, you know, like you just, you got to keep grinding. You're not going to have instant overnight success. But I think the biggest thing for me is give without expecting anything in return, right? Like it started out with me doing, um, you know, a, a gear review video. I bought this uh, Magma DJ XL backpack because I just had gotten a um, Denon MK2 controller and I wanted a backpack wow. that I could just like rock into a club strapped to my back without a bunch of crap to carry. And um, I just did like a little Facebook review on it, like showing people the pockets and what I have in it. And it like blew up. And mm. um, I DJ now, which is an online, you know, retailer, yep. they they saw like this review and they're like, hey, you know, we thought you did a really good job. You know, would you be cool partnering with us? You know, if we send you things, you know, you do your review on it. And then if you want to buy it, you know, we'll give it to you at like, you know, a 20% discount for like your effort. And if you don't like it, tell us or send it back or, you know, whatever, like there's no expectation here. And I'm like, you yeah, know, sure. Why not? Right. So just by putting that little Easter egg out there, not expecting anything in return, like I wasn't looking for free stuff. I wasn't looking for, um, you know, sponsorship. Like I literally just wanted to help people out. Like, Hey, this is a dope bag. Check it out. And just by giving without expecting good things happen from that. And I don't know how else to like put it in into words, but I just, I just gave and gave and gave. And then people were like, wow, like she, she's pretty dope or she's really smart or she's really kind. Um, the other part of the online content was uh, honestly, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, everything was rainbows and unicorns, but there's, there's a lot of mean people out there. There's a lot of haters. There's a lot of deniers. Yeah. There's been a lot of really disrespectful people um, that I've encountered and I got tired of explaining myself. I got tired of trying to prove who I was. So it's like, yo, I'm going to strip back the curtain. You can follow me on my events. You can follow me what I do. Either you love me or you hate me, but I'm going to show you. I'm the one setting this up. I'm the one rocking the decks. I'm the yep. one I'm seeing this thing. I'm the one like this hustle. This is me. You know, this isn't some facade. I don't have like some like phantom crew behind me making all the magic happen. Like, like this is me. And then if you still want to like, whatever, then that's on you. But, um, you know, it was to kind of combat the bullies. I got, I got tired of that. And I just wanted to like, you know, show people that I was competent and capable. You know, I don't really talk about this much and I don't go into like the female DJ thing because no. DJs are DJs. If you're dope, you're dope. If you work hard, great things happen and pe people work hard. But I will say in the beginning as a younger female, I had to work really hard to prove that I was capable because there was a lot of doubt and stigma you know even something as simple like can you even lift your own stuff you know they didn't want someone who wasn't able to, you know to push things up ramps and stuff so mm -hmm. that's why i worked really hard with the social media con uh, content just to be like yo like i got this like you're hiring a pro like i got this um and again here here we are so what's going on dj family dj reese here every monday at 9 a.m i'm dropping a new podcast episode where I'm highlighting some of the dopest DJs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're DJing at. If you want to hear these stories, level up in your DJing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips. You want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. Every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes, from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com.